Hello everybody and good morning from Otaru in Hokkaido. This is our fifth day on our Hokkaido trip and we took the train, 40 minute ride from Sapporo to Otaru. This is a port town with a lot of history and we're really looking forward to checking this place out. I've never been here before and I'm super excited. So this is what the area around the station looks like. As soon as you exit the JR Otada station, it looks like a regular city with a bus terminal. We are walking around the main street of Otaru and um, so far I see KFC. <laughs> This is the oldest Hokkaido railway. This is the oldest Hokkaido railway? Is it still working? No. It's not working? No. Look, this is the oldest railway in Hokkaido. So it's not working anymore. It's not working. It's not running. So this is just a tourist attraction? From what I saw in the guidebooks, uh, it looks like a really nostalgic place uh, with a lot of um, Meiji era buildings. It's a port town. That's my image. Oh, and then I also have the image of uh, Otari having really wonderful desserts. So, so this is the Otaru Canal, very famous. So walking along the canal. Wow, look at that. This is beef, right? Oh, beef. Oh, beef. Oh, 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 this is raw beef. I had no idea it's raw beef. Oh no. I usually I usually you know don't like raw beef but tastes like sashimi. Sashimi. Toro. Tastes like toro. It's really good though. Oh. And this is um wasabi. Wasabi. It's actually very spicy wasabi. Wasabi. Mm. <laughs> wasabi. <laughs> 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 
Oh, this is actually really good. I usually don't like raw beef, but this is actually really good. You like it? Very good. So obviously I really liked it because, well, I finished my bowl. This is really good. I like I love this. You loved it? I love it. Yeah, I know, me too. It was amazing. Romanka. It's a cafe. Yeah, it's a cafe and a store. Who's he? Shinichi. <laughs> That's me. Please, we gotta we gotta try one. We're gonna try this one. Supposedly it's the number one croquette in Japan. 188. Yay, we got the croquette! Uh, the, the golden award croquette. Won the gold. <laughs> I have to say it's actually expensive for a croquette, right? 180 yen for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this tiny croquette, but mm -hmm. it must be amazing, mm -hmm. so. And we can eat without sauce. Okay, they said no sauce. Very strong um, potato taste. Potato taste, yes. really. And meat taste. Too. And meat taste. Mm -hmm. So basically, a traditional croquette. It's good, but... To be honest with you, is it the number one croquette for me? I don't think so. <laughs> and here we are at Kitakaro. It's somewhere I've been wanting to come forever. This is the Northern Yume Dome, and this one is the Yume Fushigi. So yeah, quite complicated names. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, crispy on the outside. It's airy, just like a cream puff. And inside, that's whipped cream. I think there's custard inside as well. So it's custard cream. There's custard oh. on the inside. Yes. But that's about as far as I'm gonna go because I think it's gonna break apart. So, uh, yeah. Mm. I didn't get any custard. Only cream. It's so light. And it's creamy. Actually, it's not that sweet. It's very milky. Um, but I'm going to say it again, it's really not that sweet. Mm. Mm. Combination of custard and whipped cream. Mm. Mm. And this is the other cream buff. Dream, mysterious dream. Mysterious dream. Okay, this is the mysterious dream. Mm -hmm. And oh, it's custard. Mm. Oh, it's like pie. A little bit fruity. Fruity? Mm -hmm. Really? Whoa, look at all that cream. Mm. Mm. I think I like this one better. This one, like Satoshi says. 
<laughs> the flavor is stronger in this one. Is it liquor? I'm not sure. I, I do taste some kind of fruity liquor um, aftertaste. Mm. So creamy, but this one is very thick and rich. Um, a bit more complex and tasting than the other one, in my opinion. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Mm. Wow. This is a very nice town. This is the uh, Otaru Orugoru ka. Orugoru is a uh, music box in Japanese. Wow. Look at these selections of music boxes. Okay, I'm impressed now. These are music boxes. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is a music box. Wow. Okay, we're not allowed to touch this because this is an antique. Wow, this is an amazing store. All music boxes. this place here, Antique Museum, to listen to a real antique music box. Here we are. Street of North. The Wall Street of North. I see. It does look like a miniature Wall Street. I do love the architecture. My image of Otari has changed once again. Uh, we just went to that amazing music box museum. That was really amazing. And uh, what else? Uh, we we kind of walked around a little more, and there was a financial district, uh, which was pretty amazing. Uh, the buildings were uh, well preserved, either that or um, uh, rebuilt. But wonderful place with lots of atmosphere, uh, lots of great seafood, uh, really good desserts. Too many desserts that I wanted to try. Um, but yeah, you just can't, it, it, it's, it's hard to eat everything you want in one trip. Definitely impossible. In the nighttime, Otaru Canal becomes even more beautiful.
Okay, so we have one more thing to eat here in Otaru. That is the zangi, and that is a Japanese fried chicken. Okay, I know that there is a fried chicken shop somewhere here. Where is it? Where is the fried chicken shop? Zangi. We gotta eat zangi when we're in Hokkaido. Hmm? 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 Left? Oh? Right? Ah! Here it is! Yay! We got the zangi! 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 Very big! Very yeah, big karaage! It's, it's like a karaage! But it yes. is called zangi in Hokkaido! I see! Mm. Dozo! And it's piping hot because we waited for 10 minutes. Oh. 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 Mm. Mm. Wow. It's really juicy. Wow. Ginger and garlic. Oh, I see. So there's mm. uh, marinated with ginger and garlic. Okay. Mm. So there's it's, it's flavor. Yes. yes. And the outside is really crispy. Mm. Wow, this, these are so, big pieces of karaage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the skin looks so crispy. That's yeah, right. Oh. Okay, let's see if you can hear the crunch. Oh. Mm. Did you guys listen? Uh, listen. Uh, one more time. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. And juicy, quite and juicy. juicy. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. So good. <laughs> it's really hot though, you gotta be careful. Oh. But it's good. Mm. So, you talk to the lady mm -hmm. you know, who is making this. Yes. And we're trying to figure out what the difference is between this and a regular karaage. What did she say? Um, there is no answer. Okay. Some, someone says it is um, a Hokkaido accent, and someone says a different uh, ingredients, mm. like flour or starch. Okay. okay, so that ends our tour here in Otaru, Hokkaido. I had a great time. What about you? I had a new discovery here. Yeah, what did you discover? A new sweet shop. Oh yeah, that sweet shop was fantastic. The cream puffs. Um, I especially like the... Um, you know, I especially enjoyed lunch at that uh, Shirokuma restaurant. That was really good. It's off the beaten track, but I really loved it. The owner was nice. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. See you guys really soon on our next adventure. Bye-bye.